Onivia, League of Legends highlights. That will be the response here, so it's going to be another fairly uninteresting top side of the map, but Fred and Breon have great ball carrier now. They have two great ball carriers. They have really nice initiation for late game team fights. Frontline that's basically on, does not gain anything from this, and you know, on the top side of the map, yeah, oh yeah, gonna get caught out by Pyoshik here, but we're gonna land some bone sores and we're gonna be just fine. And by that, by bone sore, I mean ukulele. We're teleporting. We're trying to get even more. And uh, I, we we saw this we saw this movie, um, and it's a, yeah. it's a rough one. As uh, Hoya's in his own little battle here, as he wants to pick up his briefcase, does so, but it's just going to be a solo kill for Kingen. He well, denied the assists. So. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. And that's actually relevant, right? Yeah, it that's is. like what 100 and 100 or so gold. Or yeah, for sure, like at least. So it ends up being really nice to actually deny that extra gold and. Ooh, Delight be, might be falling down as Lava just destroys the Rise. I want to know how that setup happened. There's another flash forward, this time from Taehyung. He's going to pick up that kill as we've just got people dying left um, right. And then Lava decides to come over here, or rather not Lava, Solka decides to come over here. Lava's like, my goodness. Humpty, like you say, going to be collecting this uh, Infernal Drake pretty comfortably. What I really like is we got to have our really long conversation about uh, Banjo-Kazooie, and then as soon as that conversation was over... It was perfect, It was it? just action. Yeah. It looks like we might have a dive set so up here. Six available for Pyoshik, but it is going to be four versus two. Make that three as Umpty's going to make his way in, and by it's a party. four, I mean five. Hook will connect. Decent flavor. The Thresh is going to get taken down. Umpty diving in amongst everyone, but that's a two-man shockwave. It's an absolute fiesta, but we're all here for it as Hannah very close to dying, not able to get that Severum damage to work, and now Lava's in trouble. This could actually be really worrying as he flashes on over and kills his opposite number. King and tanking up the turret pretty nicely there. But I just don't know whether gold leads mean anything in this particular series. What means anything in this series? <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah, that's a really good question. Maybe all of these wards on the bottom side of the map mean something as Delight. He's in a bit of trouble, and by a bit, I mean a mega large amount. Wow, this is, uh, Derek should be able to wrestle that control back. Like, look at Tayun, he's like, okay, nope, yeah, he's, he's looking for it. Moonlight Vigil comes down. Henna's still gonna do a fair bit of damage here. And Delight's like, Tayun, what are you doing, buddy? What am I watching? He's looking to try and trade back, and he does! What the heck? Okay, Jump might be falling down here as the Shockwave's gonna get flashed. As, uh, all right, I mean, if I'm Tayun, I'm typing worth in all chat like you would not believe. Is now Hoya trying to fight against Kingen. They're gonna ult and then just wander around one another for a bit. Looks like no action. I mean, as DRX will be able to take down this outer turret in the mid lane. The Rift Herald here gets a lot of value because of that trade of the AD carry, <laughs> so you'll take it. You get the full turret here. Yep. It's gonna be the first turret of the game. DRX just trading up right now. You just keep fighting, you keep flashing forward, and good things happen, I suppose. Realm Warp. Yeah, Hoya just wants to just wants to play his ukulele as he's not going to be able to take the lantern. There was no wards that got put down. It was just Pyoshik's body in the way. Ow. Brian Brian just get away with this every time. How many drakes can they get with nobody even walking towards them? Like, mm, oh no, the drake's taken. I mean, yeah. DRX have got like what one drake this whole series. Yeah, it's, it's but we're one well. one, so it's it can't be that bad. Um, as it is going to be the mountain rift this time around, no ocean which uh, would have been kind of hilarious uh, if Freda Brion had managed to get an Ocean Rift, as we would have been able to potentially see Ocean Soul on a Mundo, which sounds completely disgusting as in goes Umpty. And once again, the Varus is out of position. Okay, well, DRX... Tayun is like... Yeah, I think he's... Okay, uh, Hoya. Yep, they're just... Uh, they're going to try and kill the Mundo. He's level 10. Does have his Bramble Vest completed. Does manage to clear out the Minion Wave as well. As Umpty's going to move on over... He does uh, have ult available, and uh, I just don't think that they can go for a dive here. They're going to still try as, uh, yep, they managed to take him down. Okay, wasn't able to eat through the, the gray health with the W, unfortunately. Yeah, and I, I don't see any way as Fred Brown, even with the two Drake lead, where you just walk away for this and say, oh, you can have it. Um, but, you know, they're just not in great position to just do anything about it. They have no vision whatsoever. Neither team does, like, there's the DRX. Fred Brion going to be very upset with the dragon being taken on the other side of the map. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Very upsetting. And uh, also, that cannon minion uh, not being picked up. Or to, to feel like the same consistency is going to be performed here as Umpty getting chunked by Tehun a little bit as Lava. Here we go. Flashes over the chains of corruption, and the Varus is once again dead. Oh, dearie me. He thought he was safe. He absolutely was not. Yeah, and... 
before anybody starts calling for a bow to come back. I mean, this is a rookie player who got ahead, has been very greedy, has been punished. King in, hiding in a brush. Whoa, that's a lot of people. His hand, might, it might be his turn to get caught out, but he's got a lantern. This, this is such okay. a weird series. <laughs> so strange, Wolf. Like, both of these teams are not playing up to their normal standards. I'd say especially Fred Brion has had a very shaky series. Um, you know, considering the amount of form we've seen from them, right? They have beaten some top teams on the west side. We are going to get this turret here. There's yep. no follow-up even, sadly, even though we had such a great start in this game. Indeed. DRX, though, are going to even out the Drake count. Doing that against Fred Brion feels real good. That's bound to make them pretty upset. Two mountains now as well, getting tankier and tankier as they stack these up. Soul Point will be available next for either team. I imagine that Fred and Brion are going to try and fight for it this time around at the Look moment. At the wraparound. Looking to try and scale as this turret, not long for the world, as Pioshik is lying in wait. They turn off the turret, and Henna's going to be able to take it down. Umpty pretty tanky for the moment, but Solka is going to get that flash out of the volley bear. Now he's looking to run away. So they get Kingen. the tower like they wanted, but King and like you say, he's on the bottom side of the map. He's I believe he just teleported one. down there. Yeah. He's committed. He's going to get the better turret here. Will he escape? He does not have enough does time. Does he even want to? Yeah. As the Baron could be an option here. DRX are trying to use this reactant pressure to just rotate over and get a Baron. Now, Fred and Brion actually have to make a really tough call. And Rooftop is a lot more AoE damage, a lot more burst. I mean, it depends on the stacking, right? I mean, sure. if, if everyone on Fred and Brion is all stacked up, then maybe it's going to be the Rise that's going to get more value. As, speaking of value, is Baron down to about half health. Jun's going to come through and look to spot this one out as it is going to be a turn from Fred Prion. The piercing arrow comes down, Pioshik goes golden immediately, where's the follow-up? Good play onto Kingen as he's going to get hooked as well! But Jun dives on in, he's going to go golden as Lava flashes away off to the side. Hoya trying to keep himself alive as the shockwave is going to miss and Taehyun is going to be able to take him down. Henna still looking for more here, fighting one versus three, has the Calibrum as the Crescendum is tearing them apart! All right, the turret goes on in there as Hannah. Who's going <laughs> to win out of Taeyun and Hannah, man? This is actually really... Oh, this really... is so personal at this yeah, point. Yeah, right. Too, it feels like Hannah's going to lifesteal with this wave up, but they're just going to turn away. They're going to go for the Baron. Feels BM for Taeyun to actually not answer the call, not answer the challenge, but felt like Lava in that fight. I'm sure we're going to get a replay of it oh, here in a Tate. moment. Is he going to be out of fight? No way. Uh, the timing is going to be off. He's already gone. Nope. Oh, no. He that stopped fine. it. <laughs> Okay, well... Oh my goodness, he just tanked it. Okay. Um, well, I mean, he's he's definitely dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, Got well. his, his money's worth of minions there, I guess, before he went down. You know, this is the kind of aggression that we're looking for. He's he's definitely a romantic. Yeah, he <laughs> certainly is. He's king in. He's going to try and get out of there. The hook is actually going to be picked up by Jun. Interception. Absolutely beautiful. His Pioche is going to go on a big old ride. Lava's going to get kicked, but he's going to be okay, I have a feeling, as Ahoya's not. That's Pioche going back in once again. Man, this guy's all over the place right now, in a good way, as DRX will push down this top inhib turret and the inhib as well. We've got siege minions aplenty. As can DRX just follow through on this one? I mean, one? I think so. Lava, one shot, one chance, one opportunity, something like that. <laughs> yeah, whatever the lyrics are. Yeah, whatever Eminem lyrics we're talking about here. As, okay, Realm Warp. That's going to bring a whole bunch of minions underneath this turret. Love your work, love your work, DRX. As they're going to tidy up all of the structures surrounding the Nexus outside of the Lava. Nexus turrets themselves. One opportunity here to turn this fight and, you know, maybe get a chance back into this game. Yeah, they got to try and do something. I feel like there's not really too many of uh, these opportunities left. They're looking to give up absolutely there it everything. Two-man shockwave comes in. I don't know whether it's quite enough value. As immediately Lava is going to get out of there. Umpty looks for an opportunity, but turns around. And they're going to 1v1 for the game. As King is going to get hooked. Kind of scared to hook him, actually. <laughs> He's like, if you flash over the wall, you could be in trouble. <laughs> there are a lot of very angry minions coming down all of these other lanes. DRX gets back to the fountain. They're on the cusp of Infinity Edge. Three. Maybe this is the item spike, because Umpty has to go golden. This last inhibitor is going to go down. Great timing there on the Glacial Fissure, but Jun's still going to have to flash away. And underneath this turret, just dealing with these minions time and time again. 
As Pioshik looking for that opportunity, Henna getting just smacked around with these piercing arrows. It's really starting to hurt. As in they go, Henna trying to get some damage down as Kingen finds the backline. Lava finds the fountain though, that's gonna help him. As Henna is really strong, but so's Pioshik. The shockwave on the two ain't gonna be enough whatsoever. And DRX are going to stay in fifth place when it comes to losing streaks. Spenusonic Boomer still in fourth.